We end tonight on this Earth Day high in the Colorado Rockies. We're out of boredom. A man named Billy Barr started taking notes on the nature around him nearly 45 years ago. John Blackstone paid him a visit. A springtime visit to Billy Barr's place is no simple journey. But it's all worth it when you discover this remote cabin deep in the woods. Like a snow cave here. Is home to one of the world's most valuable and unexpected troves of scientific data. I came out late May, summer 72. It was such a mental relief just to have peace and quiet uh, in my life. You came for the solitude, but you started to get a little bored. A bit of boredom, but a lot of it was just making my own activity. So you'd go out and, and measure the snow? Twice a day. I would first get a, a ruler and stick it in the snow and measure how much new snow there was. It wasn't just the snow depth and when it melted. Using a hand-operated system he built himself. Yeah, and what this does is it converts the weight of this can and the snow in it into the equivalent of water. He also calculated how much groundwater that snow would produce when it melted. You've been doing that same thing since 1974 in this Twice place. A day. When that wasn't enough to keep Billy busy, he started tracking wildlife. The precipitation, birds, mammals. And recorded it all by hand in a series of now tattered notebooks. Those notebooks are, are historic now. In the early 90s, scientist David Inouye from the neighboring Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory needed data for his research on wildflowers. He had heard about Billy's notebooks, but was shocked when he saw how comprehensive they were. And I said, Billy, you know, those data are really relevant to how the climate is changing and how animals are responding to the changing climate. When you started taking your measurements. Did you have any idea that they would have any kind of long-term significance? Uh, no, none at all. Remember, this was mid-70s, early mid-70s. If you asked me about climate change, I would have said, yeah, it got warm, I took my sweater off. I mean, it meant nothing to me. But now it means everything to the global scientific community, which has published his numbers in dozens of scientific papers. Like most climate scientists, Billy is concerned by what his numbers show. Temperatures are rising, and snow is melting earlier each year. It's worrisome, obviously. Uh, it's not a good trend. Will we lose water storage? Will drought increase? Will floods and famine increase? But Billy leaves the answers to big questions like those to others. He's content to do his part and head out into the wilderness, where there's an infinite amount of data waiting to be collected. John Blackstone, CBS News, Gothic, Colorado. And that's the CBS Weekend News for this Saturday. Later on CBS, 48 hours. I'm Rena Ninen in New York. Thank you for joining us. Good night.